Hi, I'm Ron Jackson with Acoustic Guitar, and today's basics lesson is all about using the most of your open guitar strings, okay? So, here's your guitar strings, and here's what they sound like open. Now, it takes a little bit of skill to play them, but it's not that easy, really, as it seems, okay? Now, what's really cool about the open guitar strings are that they, they're the ones that actually ring the longest. If you hear that E, the first string E, you can really let that sustain for a long time because that's the longest note or the longest length string, or all the strings are actually at the, at the, uh, the, the longest when you actually hit them open. So they actually sustain the longest. When you press the strings on the frets, you're actually shortening the length of each string. So now, the sustain is less. Here's the difference. This is a, that's a G, and that that's an E open. They both sound good, but this can last for a long time on the acoustic guitar or on any guitar actually. So um, what's really cool is that you can actually play your your basic open string chords, especially if you're a beginner guitar player. You can play an E chord or an A chord, like I started off with and make some cool voicings just by moving it up the, and down the neck uh, using the same shape, okay? And that's what's really cool about the open strings. When you, when you play these chords under these open strings, like on the, on the A chord, this the fifth string ringing and the first string ringing, okay? You get some really cool sounds. I move up that, that shape of the A chord, just a one fret, it, it creates so much tension and color. Okay, now I mean, I, I you know I used to check out a lot of cool bands when I was a kid. Like Kansas, the song "Dust in the Wind" actually had that chord. It had some a lot of open string chords. They use a lot of open string chords on the song um, "Dust in the Wind" with Kansas, and also uh, Pete Townsend was really great at that kind of stuff too with open strings ringing and it's uh he was really well known for that uh, check out all, all, all you know flamenco guitarists do it all the time the open string on the guitar is so so essential to play now this lesson is all about using these open strings to your advantage and uh to create your own cool things with it okay um your, your cool songs and compositions now uh we're going to take some um some chords that we, you already know and we're going to make some cool voicings with them and in example number one we're gonna actually take an E chord okay and we're just gonna move it up one fret at a time the shape of an E and move it up one fret at a time in example number one and you'll see that there's some cool sounding and really complicated sounding even for me um, voicings or, or chord chord names okay but the most important thing for you really is to just get the sound in your head, you know, the color, and maybe you can create something cool with that uh, by yourself for one of your own songs or your own compositions if you're a singer-songwriter, okay? Now, uh, we're going to use the E shape with your first, second, or third finger, or your second, third, and fourth finger. And uh, I'm probably going to play with my second, third, and fourth finger because it's easier to hold it going up, the, up and down the neck because I'm going to be playing whole notes with this as an example, okay? And you're gonna get you're gonna get actually 13 different sounds with this one E chord, okay? You're gonna have the first, second, and your sixth string ringing in this example. So here we go. Example number one. I'm gonna play one bar for each chord. Ready? One, two, three, four.
So that's example number one. Now, example number two, we're going to take an A chord and do the same thing. Okay? So you're going to use your first, second, and third, fourth fingers. Oh, excuse me. Your first, second, or third finger to play the shape. Or your second, third, and fourth. For me, it's a little easier to use my second, third, and fourth going up and down the neck. The way I'm holding the chords, okay? So let's play example number two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's the A shape. What's really cool is you can actually take an A shape and make it a minor shape as well as the E and making it an E minor shape. And you could, you could actually um, play around with these and find some cool sounds with the minor shapes too. So do that on your own for fun. and. And you know, create some cool sounds by yourself with that, okay? Mm -hmm. 